Oh, last week was successful, I think. In my last video, I talked quite a lot about the fact that I was going to be changing up my stream schedule significantly because I felt like streaming wasn't performing for me. And that's exactly what I did. I basically halved the amount of time that I was streaming. Instead of streaming from like one till six, seven, I'm now streaming from three till six pretty solidly, maybe up to half six, depending on how things are going. And the stats for the previous week were the same amount of viewership, uh, the same amount of new followers, if not more followers. Basically, the results were the same or better in every single area, but I did half the amount of work. Now, I don't want to be too analytical about this because I realise this is a people thing as well. Like, I want to see the community, I want to spend time with the community, but also I've just got to be sensible about where I'm spending my time because I'm trying to make a career out of this. At the moment, or historically, what was happening is I was struggling to get any kind of long-form content done because... I just didn't have the time. I'd spend my morning researching and filming short form content and then it would basically take me up to about lunchtime by the time that stuff was edited. And then after lunch, I would be rushing down here to stream. So I'd have lunch, start lunch at 12 and then I'd be rushing down to come back and actually go live and get everything set up. And it just wasn't quite enough time. That extra couple of hours after lunch, I know it only seems like a small amount that time from like one till three gives me the ability to produce stuff like this or stuff like I did last week. So last week, I think I put three pieces of long form content out. It's a podcast and a couple of diaries and I loved doing them all. I was actually going to go out again today because I enjoyed the process of going out and filming the vlog and pushing the boundaries of what I was comfortable with. But it's rainy and I didn't want to get my camera wet and it's just one of those days. But sometimes we're going to be doing stuff outside, sometimes we're going to be doing stuff inside. I've got some cool ideas that I think I'm going to go for in terms of vlog stuff that might make it a little bit interesting. But I'll wait uh, to tell you about those when they actually happen because otherwise it just ruins the whole thing. So yeah, last week I put a lot of long form content out that I was really proud of and I enjoyed streaming again for the first time in what feels like a while. Uh, I've fallen into this trap, I think, of streaming for other people all the time and not streaming for myself and not doing the things that I enjoyed. And that makes it really hard. That turns it from a thing that you enjoy and love doing into a job that you hate when you're forcing yourself to do things that you're not happy with because you think it's going to perform better. There needs to be a little bit of that. There needs to be a little bit of, this is not 100% where I want to be, but it's on the path to where I want to be. But it doesn't need to be that all the time. And I had gone from doing community games and playing Fortnite once a week to playing it like five times a week. And it was just tedious. And even the people who wanted that originally weren't there for it really anymore. And that's got to be down to the fact, it's not about them. People have lives and people are busy and that's absolutely fine. I completely understand that. But I think part of it is, I it clearly wasn't happy doing it and they must have sensed that on some level and it's not a nice place to be. It's not a nice place to hang out. And I don't want to do that. So here's basically what the new strategy is in terms of streaming, live streaming. It is three hours Monday to Friday, a couple of hours on a Saturday morning if I can manage it. And it's basically a different game every day. It's not to say that we won't revisit games, because I will do that, but I probably won't play the same game on consecutive days. And this strategy, I don't want this to be like, oh, that's an interesting strategy that Charm's come up with. I haven't come up with it. I've, I've stolen it. I've stolen it. When I went to the Logic Tech event, uh, you'll know from the podcast that I met Peter Webby there, and I've been watching his streams for a while, and he's super successful in terms of his live streams and his content and, and all of those things. There's a lot of situations where I aspire to, to experience the kind of success that Peter's experienced. And one of the things he said was that he really changed stuff up to, to, to work with TikTok, but also work with him. So you know, shorter, sharper streams, uh, more impactful, super interactive. And that's basically what I'm going for, to be as interactive as I can. I always think I've been fairly interactive, to be honest with you. But watching Peter, I'm like, oh, you know, he's he's putting himself out there, man. He is, he is really 
um, showing his personality off and really engaging his chat. Um, so yeah, I am, I'm really focused on being really impactful in the short time that I'm there, but then also trying to be as impactful as possible in the time that I'm not there. So the long form content has been something that I've wanted to do for a while and I've done it in patchy ways. I, you know, I've done a, a vlog here and there, I've done you know, a, a game review here and there, but I want to get much more specific and serious about that and that's definitely on the agenda. The podcast, since actually interviewing Peter and attending the Logitech event, the podcast is really picking up. I think I've got six guests booked in for the podcast, so I'm really excited about the prospect of what that could be as a piece of content. And it also made me realise how important it is for me to get out of this cabin and go out into the world and go to these events and meet people. People like uh, Callan and Peter and uh, all of these other people that I've met at these events. I suddenly I stopped being the, the guy who nobody knows emailing to say, can you be on the podcast? And I become the guy that's like, oh, hey, I spotted you at this event and I didn't get a chance to say hello, but I love what you do, et cetera, et cetera. And that's all really authentic, by the way. It's not me just saying that's get people on the podcast. I saw so many people at that event where I was like, I've seen that person on TikTok. I've seen that person here. I've seen that person there. I really love what they do. I'm slightly too nervous to go and speak to them, but it, it just opens the door a little crack to say, hey, uh, we're in the same circle, kind of. I'd love to speak to you. And people are much more open to that um which is which is really nice so i've got about six people booked in on the podcast so there's going to be lots more of those episodes from in some really interesting content creators and i'm really looking to push that forward as much as i possibly can and then we've got the vlogs and then also the other thing i want to start doing is some more in-depth game reviews and maybe even get back into to gameplay stuff on youtube gameplay series um there's a lot of aspirations i have for youtube that wouldn't be achievable if I was streaming at the level that I was streaming before. And I've got a couple of friends who keep saying to me, you are a, you know, you're a content creator. You're not just, you're not a live streamer. You know, live streaming is part of what you do, but they really feel that I'm, I'm what I do is I create content and that's where I shine, I guess. And that is what I enjoy as well. I really enjoy the live streaming as, as a kind of live performance aspect, but the, the content creation, I'm really finding that it's, it's bringing some joy to me uh, that I didn't, didn't really realise was there. So there's definitely going to be more of that and more events and uh, more exciting stuff like that. So the podcast is getting pushed a lot. The live streams will remain uh, about three hours each day. I'm going to do community games on a Friday, I think, still. Uh, if if there's the demand for it, this all comes down to if there is a demand there for the thing, if people want it and they're turning up for it and they're asking for it, I will be there for it all day long. And if the live stream massively picks up and I'm, you know, getting thousands of views each stream, then, you know, maybe I'll, I'll increase the amount of live stream and, and shift things up. I'm trying to think of this with my old marketing head of going, when things aren't working, you have to change something. If you keep doing the same thing, expect different results, it's, it's the end of it. And the last couple of streams, like I said, have, have brought the joy back to it for me, but also they've performed well. But here's the big thing. Even when they're not performing at the very highest level, I'm still enjoying it, which wasn't, wasn't true of uh, other games. They were games that I was doing and I realised after the fact, purely because I felt like it would get me numbers. So that's where we're at. We are pushing forward with long form content. We are pushing forward with the podcast. We are changing up the live streams, but still trying to improve everything with every stream, with every interaction, with every new game. We're trying to be better. I'm trying to be more impactful and I'm trying to be more interactive. Uh, don't forget guys, if you want to support me um, outside of YouTube and outside of uh, TikTok, then what you can do is you can go to co-fee.com forward slash Charmer Gamer. I'll put the link down in the description as well. You can either do one-off donations, you can subscribe, and people who subscribe on a monthly basis get early access to these videos. Uh, all of the podcasts, all of the vlogs, they get early access to everything, um, as well as some blogs and stuff that I'm writing uh, just for Ko-fi subscribers. So uh, yeah, 
ko-fi.com forward slash charm the gamer uh, or come and check out the live streams or just leave me a comment below ask a question and maybe i'll do a video answering it i appreciate you guys i'll see you on the next one